Hey guys, what's up? This is Dario, and I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. I know that 2020 had its challenges and many difficulties, uh, but I pray that 2021 will be a year where we will see God's goodness displayed in our lives in ways that we haven't seen yet. Uh, and for many opportunities as well for us to be able to shine the light of Christ to the rest of the world. Um, so with that said, I wanted to share a time lapse of my latest illustration, which is the Emmanuel is here uh, painting that I drew for Christmas. Um, this past Christmas, which uh, amazingly received a lot of love, uh, a lot of shares, and it was just awesome to see uh, the impact that it was having on many of you guys. So yeah, I wanted to share a time-lapse video of the art progress, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. So for this piece, I drew this a few hours before I went to hang out with family on Christmas Eve. You know, as soon as I began to draw, I already had an image in my mind of the manger, which is obviously the the common icon for artists when creating art for Christmas. The manger is obviously where a lamb would be placed after being born, which is interesting because that's where Jesus was placed when he was born, being the Lamb of God. But for this piece, I thought of Emmanuel, Emmanuel meaning God with us, which is the fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah. But instead of just putting a manger and the baby Jesus on it and having Mary and Joseph beside the manger, I thought, why don't I put a lion and the lamb, which are very iconic in my work, but specifically because of who Emmanuel represents and what the purpose of Emmanuel coming into the world. It's obviously a fulfillment of, of biblical prophecy, but also in seeing Jesus placed here, he is the Lamb of God who would take away the sin of the world, who would die for the sins of, of his people, and in consequence for the rest of the world. And I drew the lion because it's also a prophecy from Jacob in the book of Genesis that speaks of the lion of the tribe of Judah being that a messianic prophecy foretelling of a coming savior, a coming king, a ruler who would, in the course of history, bring redemption and salvation to the people of God. So here, when, as I drew Jesus on the manger, I also wanted to communicate the reality of Emmanuel being now with us. Seeing both the Lamb of God, which speaks of his role of being the sacrificial lamb, whose role was to die for the atonement of the sins of the people, and at the same time, the might and power of Jesus in the Lion of Judah, which, as we read in the book of Revelation, speaks of him who was dead but is now alive, the one who conquered death, the Lion of Judah. And so, here, I wanted to combine these two elements in the presence of Jesus and Emmanuel, being just a babe, a child, the beginning of this prophecy to be fulfilled. I know that there might be some people seeing my video who may have a disagreement with the whole celebrating Christmas and such. Obviously, of course, we don't know the date or the time when Jesus was born, but the idea of this is simply just to communicate the fact that, yes, Emmanuel is God with us, did come. Uh, and this is a time and season when he is remembered and celebrated as the king who has come. The the promise of redemption being fulfilled in Jesus and it's a time where Christians we think back on that time and uh, are grateful that Jesus did come God with us became a reality he came into the world a broken fallen world enveloped in darkness and hopelessness and sin and shone God's light brought light to a darkened world brought redemption and true life reconciliation with God the Father and hope for the lost. And so, yeah, that's what I wanted to communicate with this piece. Uh, just a reminder of the beauty and the wonder of Emmanuel, that God became flesh, he became a babe. We beheld him, we, we held him, we held God in our hands. Um, grew, fulfilled God's purposes, fulfilled his mission, and it is the reason why today we can look back and also are reminded that God still dwells with us. He dwells with those who trust in him, who love him, who have surrendered their lives and hearts to him. So I hope that you can see that communicated in this illustration and that you're pointed to praise God and thank him for his presence among us, with us, uh, and in us, and rejoice at the fact that God dwelt among us and for those who love him, he dwells in our hearts and he reigns still. Um, so as we begin this new year, I hope that you can look ahead knowing that 
Emmanuel is with us. God is with us. He is with his people. Uh, whatever comes our way, whatever challenges and difficulties we may face this year, whatever troubles lie ahead with what's going on in our nation and the rest of the world, that God is with us and he will see us through and he will be glorified. So I hope that this video blesses you and I hope it encourages you. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're blessed by this, I hope that you'll share it with someone else to encourage them and bless them as well. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned for more. All right. Well, thank you very much. Till next time. Bye bye. Um, so yeah, I want to show that time lapse. Hey, time. Yes. So yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs>